In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own scatter rhinestone sheet stencils so that you can make your own scatter rhinestone transfers. This is going to be the easiest and most affordable method and everything you're going to need will be in the description. These rhinestone scatter sheets are really popular right now, so I want to give you all the tools so that you can start customizing your own stuff. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go get our SVG file. If you check the description, you'll see the link for this. This is my website. Uh, so if you are grabbing anything off here, you are directly supporting me. Uh, so I do appreciate you for that. These are the files that I have created so far. Today we're going to be using this one, the rhinestone sheet SVG file 9x18 stencil. Uh, there is six different styles in here that way you can choose and they're all organized so that way you can go through them and you know have different ones for different projects and uh, these are the original files so this is what I did you know I have all the original right here so you know you are supporting me and I really do appreciate that uh, I do have a discount code uh, for 20% off any of the SVG files. So right now I have this one, this one, this one. The code is FAM. Um, so it's a FAM. It'll be 20% off. That's an exclusive code just for the people watching this video. Um, so, you know, like I said, I do really appreciate you. You keep this channel alive. So we're going to go ahead and add it to the cart. Um, and then just check out and then you're going to get the uh, download per, uh, into the email that you provide right here uh, instantly. So once you do that, um, just go ahead and save the files. They are going to be in a zip folder. So all you got to do is just right click and then extract just because I do have the six individual files uh, in each one. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, um, yeah, just save them to whatever folder you're going to remember. And then this is good for any vinyl cutter software. But in this case, we're going to be using Cricut Design Space. Uh, which is typically for like the Cricut Explorers and the Makers and all that good stuff. So we're going to go over here to upload, upload image. And then um, I have them saved right here. Uh, but I actually already uploaded it. But you're just going to pull it from wherever you want. And so here is one of them. Here is like the uh, one of the scattered ones. Um, this is probably going to be like the, my favorite one, probably uh, the one that we're going to be putting on the beanie, the goon mask beanie. Um, but all we're going to do is uh, this is perfectly sized for SS10 rhinestones. So you don't want to change the size like this. So I'm going to undo to make sure it's back to normal. But you want to make sure that you're not changing the size. Uh, what you can do though is take pieces that you need. So like for example, let's just uh, let's say you only needed like a piece of it, right? You don't need because this is 18 inches long or like 17 to 18 or whatever. Uh, you can go like this. We sliced. And then boom, we've cut it. So maybe this is all you need or whatever. You know what I mean? But um, as long as you're not changing the size. So let's do this. So we are going to unlock this. All right, perfect. And then we're going to highlight everything, hit slice. And then we're going to just keep this right here. So we can either um, turn this off or delete it. We'll just go ahead and delete it for the sake of it. And this is what we're going to be cutting. So we're going to hit make. Uh, don't save. Uh, since these are holes, it really doesn't matter if you mirrored or not. You know, it does not matter at all. Uh, typically with these rhinestone stencils, um, this is going to be rhinestone flock. You don't really have to mirror it um, just because we want the holes facing up right at us, especially when we're doing letters and all that good stuff. Um, and everything I just showed you is going to be the same exact steps uh, for these fonts as well. 
these will come in individual ones um, as far as like grouped uh, the dots being grouped together for each letter and you just put them in whatever order you want and then do that same thing with um, the rhinestone flock just you know push the stones through and this is universal for any vinyl cutter software so uh, if you made it to this point you know just let me know if you have any questions so far um, and let's go ahead and go to the vinyl cutter and then the heat press and then <clears throat> we'll just see how everything turns out I'm really excited and uh, like I said this is probably gonna be one of the most cost-effective ways to get this done because once you have this stencil you can make these as many times as you want you don't have to keep buying the actual transfers with the stones already on them you can just do them yourself <clears throat> and you'll just end up making a lot more money this way you know what I mean so I'll see you in the next step all right so now we're going to go ahead and load up our vinyl cutter for the Cricut Explore Air 2. I use some pretty heavy pressure, so make sure you check your settings. I also use rhinestone flock. That's what you see right here. So I'm going to go ahead and brush the stones right in there. They fall right into place. And then once we're done, we can go ahead and add our transfer tape. This is a hot fix transfer tape. And remember, these holes are perfectly sized for SS10 rhinestones. So I set the heat press to 330 degrees and then the reason why I put that mat underneath is because I just don't want to um, burn the goon mask too much and um, it just gave me more even pressure so that's why I did it like that. So we're going to go ahead and press for about 10 to 15 seconds and then you can go ahead and hot peel. And there you go. That's everything that you need to know to make your own rhinestone transfer sheets. This is going to be awesome, especially because summertime is rolling around so we can start customizing our denim and all that good stuff. Don't forget to check out the rhinestone shop. That's where you're going to find all the SVG files and it's going to help support my channel. So like I said, I really, really, really appreciate you. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comment section, all that good stuff. And I will see you next video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that comment and hit that like. It helps the algorithm, you know what I mean? So I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.